Hi, this is Chris from VitaminCM.com, and today we're going to be talking about using smart playlists in iTunes, and how to use these smart playlists to manage your iTunes library. iTunes allows you to create two different types of playlists. There are regular playlists, and there are smart playlists. Regular playlists are static, and they're manually built. By static, I mean you build them, and they don't update themselves automatically. They're just whatever you put in them and manually built I mean you have to physically add all the songs to them that you want to be included now smart playlists on the other hand are dynamic meaning once you define what you want to happen with your smart playlist any new songs that meet your criteria will automatically get added onto the list and these are built using query logic so if you've ever uh, made queries in any web application or maybe any uh, other piece of software that you use to do queries against a database, that's what you're using to build these smart playlists. So when you build smart playlists from queries, you're selecting songs that meet a certain criteria. For instance, what is the rating on this song? Is it three, four, five stars? What genre is it? Is it jazz? Is it rock? Is it classical? Uh, is it new music? Is it a song I just added in the last couple days? Or uh, is it a song that's been on the, my computer for a long time? You can also use these smart playlists to place limits or restrictions on the songs that get included onto the playlist. For instance, you could say song count, I only want uh, 100 songs. Or you can exclude genres, you could say I don't want any uh, R&B songs. Or you can remove artists, you might say I want um, all my classic rock songs but I don't want Led Zeppelin on there. Uh, there's also the thing that you can do is once you build these queries, any new CDs or music that you add to your library will automatically get added onto the playlist if it meets the criteria. So if you built a playlist that pulled in all your classic rock songs and you added a new album by the Rolling Stones, that would automatically get pulled into your new smart playlist. Now, what you can do with complex smart playlists is you can build several playlists, smart playlists that do specific things. For instance, you could build one that says, show me all my new songs. You could build another that says, uh, show me all my favorite songs. And then maybe you could build a third one that says, show me songs that I haven't heard in a really long time. So they're on these three different playlists. Now, you could build a fourth smart playlist and say I want to randomly take songs from playlist one, two, and three and it would randomly grab songs from those three playlists and include them into this fourth complex smart playlist. And We're going to talk about how to do that whole process today. So what we're going to do is just what I kind of laid out. We're going to set it up so you can always get a fresh selection of music. Because you might want to take some of your favorite songs, but you don't want to hear your, all your favorite songs all the time, or else you, know, you kind of get bored of them. Um, you also want to pull in any new songs, because if you're talking about a fresh selection of music, obviously your newest songs you, you would want included. And another thing you might want to do is say, throw me in a couple songs that I haven't heard in a real long time and we're going to create a master playlist that grabs a, a selection of songs from each of these other three playlists and will constantly be updated. So if you added a new CD, that would get sucked into this list. If you um, marked a bunch of songs as new songs that were your favorites, they would kind of automatically get sucked into this list. So we'll talk about how to set all that up in iTunes.